So I did that video recently about the plasma and the vegans just assuming that clearer plasma is better plasma. Meanwhile, there are no studies linking the clarity of plasma to anything beneficial as far as I've seen. And please, uh, vegans, we already know you'll pop in, oh, well, fat is linked to this and this is linked to that and that increases the risk of this. No. If you want to show something visually, you gotta... It has to be at least one study. One. Only one. Associating <laughs> the visual clarity or cloudiness of plasma with illness or whatever. But this video is not about plasma. Um, in that video, I asked the question, why is clearer better? And I started talking about breast milk. Would the vegans be happy if vegan women's breast milk was clear like water or clearish like that white um, frost Gatorade? Would that be good as well? Look, lower fat, more clarity. All that nasty fat and cholesterol is bad for the babies. They need watery, sugary breast milk. Low fat, low cholesterol. Would the vegans also think that is good just because visually clearer and in my opinion more deficient is better. But I had two vegan, um, well ex-vegan mothers send me photos of their breast milk which is just a coincidence because they both uh, happened this week. And I did not ask them to send me photos, they just happened to have photos. One mother had a picture of her breast milk while she was a vegan. And then the other mom, she had a picture of her ex-vegan breast milk. So I'm not going to tell you which one is which, but I want to show you uh, and see if you can tell. Just by looking at it, which one do you think is vegan and which one do you think is not vegan? And yes, I know the lighting is different because these are two photos that I just happened across from my awesome viewers that decided to share these photos with me. The one on the left is ex-vegan and the one on the right is vegan. The mother of the bottle that is vegan, she said that while, I mean, I know the lighting is totally different, but she said that her milk had a yellowish, orangish um, tint to it, likely from beta carotene not being converted. So, and then the other one is just um, straight up ex-vegan milk. Now to me, one of these looks like 1% milk from the supermarket and one of them looks like healthy whole milk. You can see how it clings to the side of the jar. And I'm going to show you the video clip that the uh, mother sent me. But there, I don't see any, when you buy milk from the farm, whole milk, and sometimes from the supermarket too, but there's fat in it like you can see the fat it clings to the side if you shake up the bottle all the milk will settle but there will be pieces of fat stuck to the side sometimes I don't feel like this vegan milk I feel like you would shake it and it would just be like you know the skim milk or the 1% milk that you get from the store you just get this clearish white um, low fat <laughs> cast over the bottle no fat sticking to the sides and I want to show you the, the video clip of the ex vegan milk because the shape of it when she tilts the jar you can see all the fat. This is the ex-vegan milk. And you can see when she tilts the container, the milk, it kind of bubbles up. And you can see all that fat sticking to the top and the sides. I don't think that vegan milk would do all this. I think it would be skim milk. So, yeah. look, Pay attention to the shape. Because this also reminded me of that plasma. And I'm going to show you what I mean. You see how it's kind of concave. The one after the vegan meal is kind of caved down in the middle like a normal glass of water, I guess. And then the the one with the fatty meal, it has this like, you can barely see it, but it's like a whiter layer of fat floating on top. That reminds me of that breast milk that we just looked at. And I feel like her breast milk was kind of concave in the opposite direction, like it was like almost like gelatinous very very healthy milk compared to vegan milk and both of the moms are now ex-vegan and I'm gonna do videos about their transformation of their babies and one of them a transformation of the mother as well but yeah that milk reminds me of this plasma so would vegans also say that fatty milk is less healthy than that watery vegan milk that all the vegan moms probably have that reminds me, I was just watching a video of Genty Fell, and I'm going to play a short clip from it if I can. In this video, you can see Genty Fell's daughter, and I think she is almost four or close to four. 
in this part in the video, like Jinty, she's not exactly big or muscular. She's very, very, very slim. And in my experience, three and four year olds, look how easily she picks her up. Like, how much does she weigh? It just made me wonder because... <laughs> Let me pause this. Most of the three and four year olds that I have encountered, like, they're really heavy. <laughs> they are heavy. You can't just scoop them up that easily. Especially not four year old. I don't think you would carry a four year old around like that. I think that stops at like three early year of being three years old that you would carry them on your hip like that with such ease but it reminds me of somewhere else where I saw someone went ex-vegan they said their baby just got or their son got really heavy but he didn't really gain any weight like he wasn't any bigger I mean obviously he gained weight but he didn't get any bigger when they went ex-vegan and it was because of the bone density going up I think a lot of these vegan kids are probably very like you probably pick up Arya and it feels like this air, like she she probably doesn't have all the density in the bones. And also, in this video I noticed her hair again, still not coming in. I'm wondering when, when is this hair going to come in for her? It almost looks like the hair is shaved on the sides. This is abnormal to me. And I know the vegans, I saw a comment about a vegan uh, saying, well, take having children in the videos, now you're, you're taking it too far. The vegans are taking it too far by... As long as these vegans keep uh, making their kids vegan, I'm going to keep making videos about it. Okay? I don't care if you call it bullying, because I'm, uh, I'm just stating what I'm looking at. I'm not bullying the child. I'm stating that it's abnormal for a almost four-year-old to still have relatively large patches where the hair has not begun to come in yet. And it's not like her hair fell out. It, it just has never been there. I've never seen it there. And this is what I mean. It reminds me of when I was a vegan, like the back section of her hair, the very bottom, there's not really any hair back there either. And my hair kind of got like that as a vegan and now it's growing back and now my hair is like, like kind of crazy because it's different lengths all over. And one of the vegan moms actually that, I'm going to link both their channels, but one of the vegan moms who showed her hair, like, is growing in just like mine. Little spots everywhere, sprouting up. There will be a video about that as well. But yeah. I think that the fat and the breast milk... Is not harmful for these kids and the vegans I know you think clearer and clarity and, and watered down and fruit essences and sugar you hear when you hear vegetables and fruits fruits and veggies you automatically think good great low fat awesome like you're brainwashed to believe that low protein protein is bad for your kidneys or whatever you believe no I think that fat is necessary for these kids that protein and fat in the milk I mean which one do you think would grow a healthier head of hair on a child and actually have images of the hair growth from the baby but that'll be in the next video that I do about the transformation and I still have not found an image of cattle plasma to see if it is foggy but we all have access to milk right whole milk even at the supermarket but definitely raw milk because that's what it is when you breastfeed your child why are cows able to eat nothing but grass and hay and plants and generate this super high fat milk with all the fat clinging to the sides, all the fat floating on the top and the plant eating vegan cannot generate that? Is it because the cow can do something with the plants that the human cannot?